Did you know if you're building Mac applications with .NET MAUI that you're in control whether your applications look and feel like a traditional Mac app with AppKit or more like an iPad application with UIKit? I'm going to break down everything you need to know about building .NET MAUI apps for the Mac and how you can make them look and feel exactly how you want. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James, and today I'm going to be talking about how you have control whether your applications look and feel like a Mac app or an iPad application when they're running on the Mac and which one maybe you should choose. Now let's actually talk a little bit about why we're even talking about this, um, and that's because .NET MAUI applications for the Mac are built with Mac Catalyst. Mac Catalyst is a technology newer from Apple that enables you to take your existing iOS applications, and more specifically, iPad-based applications and run them directly on the Mac. Now, when you're in this mode, by default, it'll use UIKit, which is what iPad applications use. But you are in control of the look and feel that you want at the end of the day since it is running on the Mac. And there's different reasons you may, may want to go one way versus the other. Now, when you're in this Mac Catalyst mode, there's other restrictions, like some APIs that are inside of iOS or iPadOS may not be available. Now, if you're building with .NET MAUI, .NET MAUI handles all of that for you automatically, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Now, let's talk about AppKit and UIKit. When you're building iPhone and iPad applications, basically iOS or iPad OS, you're using UIKit. Things like UI button, UI date picker, UI switch, those are the underlying native controls. Now, when you use .NET MAUI on an iOS or an iPad type application, when you say button, it will create a UI button for you automatically under the hood or a UI switch or a UI date picker. Now, the other side of the coin is true if you were building for the Mac is that it would use AppKit. AppKit is what has been around to build Mac OS specific user interfaces to make them look and feel native on the Mac. So things like NS, uh, which is next step, um, button, NS date picker, NS switch, those are the native controls there. Now, like I mentioned, .NET MAUI applications are built with Mac Catalyst. So it's actually going to be using the UI kit control look and feel by default because that is the default for Mac Catalyst apps. However, you do have control if you want to use AppKit look and feel for those applications. It's very easy to do. So what should you pick? It's a great question. You can pick AppKit if you want to make those applications look and feel like a traditional Mac application and behave like those that you were building with AppKit. UIKit, on the other side, really scales the interface to match iPad when you want to quickly bring iPad apps to the Mac, or you're just looking to ensure that your applications that are already running on iOS and iPadOS come over and have a more one-to-one -one look and feel there. Now, like I said, the default is UIKit, and this is Apple's default and .NET MAUI's default as well. And when you're running Mac Catalyst apps, this is what you're traditionally going to see. Now, this is controlled over an info P list option under UI device family. You'll see in there one and two, that is iOS and iPad OS, and integer two, that is controlling the UI kit for iPad. If you want to switch that over to use AppKit, and you can easily do this in your existing application today, you can switch that over to integer six. That is going to control that look and feel, whether it is AppKit or UI kit. So if you want UI kit out of the box, nothing to play around with. Everything is there by default. If you have for some reason to use app kit look and feel for your Mac apps built with on Maui, switch that flag. Now, the other thing that you're going to need to do for Mac Catalyst apps is switch over the supported OS platform version to 14.0, which is equivalent to Mac OS 11. So you'll want to make sure that that is updated. And I'll link to documentation that defines a lot of more of this. You can also determine what mode you're in at runtime. Built into Don and Maui are a bunch of platform helpers, and you can get the current UI view controller and determine what the user interface idiom is, whether it's Mac or it's the iOS or iPad equivalent. So you can go ahead and make decisions based off of that as well if you need to at runtime. That's it. I just wanted to give you a quick update here and how to actually pragmatically change that look and feel of your applications, whether you want those iPad look and feel or traditional Mac look and feel on your Mac applications built with Don and Maui. 
I'll put links in the show notes below to not only the Microsoft documentation for this for .NET MAUI, but also the Apple documentation as well. And of course, go to .NET forward slash MAUI to learn more about .NET MAUI and happy coding.